that brings us to Anthony Johnson, who I do like, right? 6'2", 211. Nice, very, yeah, That's, nice package, like that size, right? Yeah. Ran a 4 five forty. Good enough, can right? We, can we... Good enough. Can, can we get a timeout for a second? I know I keep interrupting you. I hate that I'm doing that. But you had, like... And someone brought it up in the comment section. You had like 20 to 25, that's what she said, comments. I know. Last week. Yeah. Like, I just said 6'2", 211. You go, yeah, he's a nice package, right? Like, Paul, you got to realize what you're saying with some of the, the I get so crazy about have. draft talk. I don't, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, he penetrates well. Like, uh, like you got to just kind of p- pump the brakes a little bit on some yeah. of the things. I th- I, that's constructive criticism. I accept that. <laughs> Subscribe now, and we will see you at Thurman's 34 Rush, April 25th and 26th for the NFL Draft. I accept that. Oh, he's long. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now that you said it, that's all I'm going to think about. <laughs> You're going to be all coy about it, too. Like Michael from The Office. <laughs> that's what she said. I just have a button that plays that automatically. <laughs> that's what she said. Ah! Listen, listen. We hit a thousand subscribers. We can't be messing around with this copyright claim nonsense. We made it to the big time, though. Our yeah. Jermaine Edmonds video got copyright claimed by the NFL. Woo! They don't. They don't ever pay attention to us. They don't. That, what the hell just happened? Do 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 Someone just call you? No. <laughs> Nobody calls me. You're here. Did I just fart? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> back to Mr. Johnson. Anthony hey, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson is a total package, right? Apparently. That's what I said. <laughs> Can't go back on it now. Okay, nope. It's too late. It's recorded. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but that notwithstanding, he, uh, he he's a very intriguing prospect. Do you think he's a first round? No, player? I don't. Is yeah, it because of where he played or how he plays? The guy runs a 4 4 3. Yeah, I think competition makes a little bit of difference here, right? So. I, I want to make a comparison to another player from a smaller conference, okay. right, that has a similar skill set, and that's Corey Davis, right? Okay. So, Corey Davis is big. Is bigger than Anthony Jones, right, from a size perspective. God damn it. <laughs> Corey Davis is a more physical wide receiver than Anthony Davis. He is, I think, off the line? I think so. Okay. Um, How about route running? I think Davis was Davis was really good. Was more polished. Yeah. Okay. But again, I mean, we're we're really splitting hairs. the the com- The comparison is um, in conference, okay. right? So you yeah. look at conference and competition. The difference is that Corey Davis looks like a linebacker, and Anthony Johnson and Anthony Johnson <laughs> does not. Right. So Anthony Johnson actually looks like a receiver. He does. And Corey Davis, you look at him and say, okay, well, he's he's really good route runner. Uh, he gets out of press really easy. He fights really, you know, he, he fights coverage really good. He, he body positions really well. Um, Johnson does a lot of that stuff really well, too. But it's, Corey Davis was the extreme of that. Mm-hmm. So um, I think the, the difference here is that you see guys like Corey Davis and you say small conference, but you look at the, you look at the skill set, you look at the tools, and you look at the size you know the physical size of the player, and you say, it's "Gotta be, he's gonna be a top 15 pick." Yeah. You look at Anthony Johnson. You say, "Conference, skill set, physic, physical." Yeah, we can get that. Art, we can get there's there's a bunch of those guys. But is does he fall under the? Because Davis, you think you're gonna draft and put him outside. Mm-hmm. That's where he's gonna go. Right. Johnson has the ability to play inside. Yeah. As a slot receiver. Right. Which, those are the number one receivers now on teams. They are. They are. So, that being more valuable in that respect, if Davis was a first rounder as an outside threat to lift coverages, could Johnson be a, a first rounder inside, even though, because their skill sets, you said, are are a little different. Uh, all right. Let me, let me ask you a question. In the last five years, because slot receivers have become the number one receiver. Right? Yes. In the last five years, how many slot receivers have been drafted in the first round? None. None. 
I mean, that's why. You know, it's... I cannot think of a single... And maybe, maybe we're wrong, but there's not a single slot receiver who comes to mind. Because the only one that comes to mind is John Ross, who isn't a slot receiver. He no. could play the slot. You could put a burner like that in the slot and tear up that mismatch, right? But he he's not a slot receiver. They put him in the they only time they put him in the slot was when they were trying to utilize him in the screen game. Yeah. That was it. When they move players around and they want to get them open, they put them in the slot or they have guys in the slot. I mean you talk about like an Edelman or a Beasley mm -hmm. or um <clears throat> I think Woods plays the slot mm -hmm. right? quite quite well. Um so you have all of those guys, but they're not taken high. Yeah, oh. well, Cooper Cup played the slot. Uh, Josh Reynolds played the slot. Right. Woods played the slot. But those are three guys on the same team that all played the slot. <laughs> but you're right. That's because it, they... It's, most it's, it's, it's outside. Right, it's all about the mismatch. Yes. Right, they're looking for a mismatch. So, the slot receiver, it's... So he won't be taken high. I don't think he, he'll be taken high. You think I, he'll be played he, as a... I, I don't know if he's played as a slot. Mm, okay. But I think he's I think he's a day two pick. I think he's second oh, yeah, round yeah. pick. He could be, a, yeah, yeah. I, could I he would, be a first round pick? I, I suppose, but the level of competition I just don't see um, him having enough pluses in in the column to get him into the first round. You day know? two, eighth pick in, in the second round. Yeah, still a great pick for the Bills. Or ninth? No, one of the eighth or ninth. The ninth. And the Bills... But you said it was a day two pick, but yeah. just not for the Bills? The Bills need... It, the Bills could use... Let me rephrase. The Bills could use another outside receiver. Do you okay. need to get one in the draft? I don't think so. No. no. Uh, exactly. But people I don't are, think so. You just made the investments. over DK Metcalf again. Well, and, because he wore a Bills shirt. And, and you're, looking at, you're looking at your outside receivers being Robert Foster and John Brown. Those are your two That's outside receivers. It's not. You're fine. You Zay Jones is going to have to play outside because he's going to work in the rotation. So he's going to have to play outside because Beasley is 100% a slot receiver. The only time you're going to see Zay Jones in the slot is when they go doubles. And when they go doubles. And he might not even be there at all if they draft TJ Hawkinson. <laughs> you haven't even talked about a receiving tight end. Beasley right. and Hawkinson would go. That would be nasty inside. Think of that. That well, would be nasty. Just as long as they, I don't want the Patriots getting. I know. I don't. Fant want, or Hawkinson. Hawkinson. Yeah, just do whatever you can to keep them away. Do whatever you can to keep them away. They have to. Someone has to. You got 30, <clears throat> 30 other teams. We know the Bills may do it, but thirty other teams have to realize you cannot get this guy tight end. So, <clears throat> Jackson's a day three pick. Okay. Johnson's a day two pick. Day what you got? We're talking about Jackson's okay, a day three right, pick. Yeah, yeah, fifth round. Fourth round. Fourth round and then later. Johnson's a day two pick. Right? right? Could he squeak into day one? I suppose. But yeah, I, I suppose. on how many guys fly off the board. Right, I suppose. Um, Khalil Hodges is the one that breaks my 